So now let's see how we can work around with Marquee Select tool inside of Pixlr 8. So on the left side, you can see that on the toolbar, the second tool that you see is the Marquee Select tool and the shortcut key for it is M. So if I were to click on this, then I have M in the Marquee Select tool. So now if I were to click and drag this, then you can see that I can select this around. I can also click and drag this around to change the box. And then if I were to go on to the Arrange uh, tool now, now you can see that the uh, selection that I made from Marquee Selection tool can be moved around. So let me just go around onto the Marquee Select tool right here. And here uh, by default, Rectangular tool is selected. I can click and drag around and I can hold Shift if I want to constrain it to a perfect square. So if I were to click and drag it on freehand, then you can see that this is what happens. Then on the top, you have the type, you have the ellipse. So you can click and drag this around to change the ellipse uh, uh, as well. So now in order to uh, see how these things actually work, I'm going to hide the layers right here. So now you can see that this is the new selection and now this is add to selection. So while you're on the new selection mode, no matter if you're on rectangle or ellipse, it creates a new selection. But if you're on this mode, that is add to selection, now it actually adds onto the selection right here. And the other one right here is removed from selection. So if I were to click and drag this, then it removes that portion out. So if I were to actually enable this, what happens is that now I can go around onto the uh, arrange tool and now you can see that this is the shape that it actually selected. Let me just go back onto the marquee select tool and click somewhere else. So here you can see that there's the feather. I can increase out the feather right here and click and drag this around. And what the feather does is it does a soft selection. So I'm just going to go around, not increase the feather that much, let's say have around eight. Let me just zoom around by holding the control button on my keyboard. And now if I were to not have any feather, this is what happens. So I can go around and you can see that there's a sharp cut. But if I were to go around right here, let me just go around on the bottom right here, click and drag this around. And if I were to go around and increase the feather, let's say for example, then you have more of a softer selection. So I actually did the feather after I did the selection. So I'm just going to go around right here, click somewhere else, click and drag this around and then move this by using the uh, range tool. And you can see that this is more of a softer selection. So there's a, um, there's a, a feather applied uh, up till 15 pixels. So if I were to go around over here, increase out the, uh, the feather right here, click and drag around. And then if I were to move this, then this is what happens. You got more of a selection right here. So now you can see that the other option you have is anti-alias and to see the effect of it, I can decrease the feather right here. So now I can go around right here and then go to ellipse, click and drag around. And then if I were to go around right here onto the arrange tool, click and drag around, then you can see that there's a soft selection as you can see, but there's still a bit of a softness going around onto the edges as you can see right there. That is because the anti-aliasing is turned on. But if I were to turn this off, let's say for example, the selection is more harsh. So if I were to go around onto the circle, click and drag this around and then go to arrange, click and drag this around right here. You can see that this is the one that I selected using the anti-aliasing uh, option. And this is the one that is applied without. And that is how Marquee Select 2 works inside of Pixlr E. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.